Welcome back to our channel. All right, it's breakfast time. So today we're gonna have some cut up strawberries. We're gonna split. Oh yes, these yogurts. She wants a strawberry. Uh, they've already been washed. There you go. We're gonna split these straw. Uh, see, now she's got me all thrown off. We're gonna split these yogurts between the five of us. Got oatmeal on the stove, and I've got some bread in here for us some sprouted wheat for the family, and then some gluten-free stuff for Piper. And we will sweeten this with some cinnamon and some Truvia or Swerve brown sugar, whatever I have on hand. It'll be pretty good. Just gonna add a little bit of almond milk if I can open it. Oh. Full splash. Blend that in with the cinnamon. And then that's probably two tablespoons. And add our brown sugar, which is not really brown sugar, it's stevia brown sugar. And if you don't have um this brand brown sugar, there's black strap molasses that you could add with stevia just to give it kind of a brown sugar effect if you like your oatmeal that way. And breakfast is ready. Yes, we're using paper plates because it's just one of those days. Are you guys excited to eat? Now. Well, Madeline, did you enjoy breakfast? Yeah? Did you like breakfast? Yeah? We good? You trying to get your bread? Oh. Yikes. All cleaned up. This is what happens when I try to have him watch her. Well, today we will be staying home and not having church from home, but watching church from home because, well, Piper's still really sick. We called the doctor again today and asked what they can do. Rerun her labs, look at him again, see if we need a different medication. My heart is breaking for her, but at the same time I know that Oh, the dog is showing on me. That the Lord cares and you know he hears our prayers. Hi baby. Oh you said you good boy. You did you good boy. Oh your breath stinks though. Can we say hi? Can we say hi. When church is finished, I have gotta get this backyard cleaned up today. It's an embarrassment. There is so much that needs to be done. So much trash and toys to be cleaned up. My kids just leave their jackets out. You can tell we actually use our backyard, huh? The goal is to get these done today, but I think that that's probably not going to happen. We are gonna try though. These are huge projects, way more than we thought we would take on, and it's cool seeing them come together. Are you tired? Do you want night night? Oh yeah? Before we get started with this recipe, I just want to say thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and help us reach 50 subscribers by February. How to feed your family a meal, lunch or dinner, 
for breakfast if you wanted for one dollar this is a great thing for if you are just on an extremely tight budget and you are hungry and or you're just on an extremely tight budget for the week and you need to make those pennies stretch what you're gonna do is get your stock pot i believe this is 10 quart but you can use literally anything that you have hi guys so i'm gonna teach you today how to make a one dollar soup and you've already kind of heard the intro of what you're going to need but we're gonna go so tomato sauce now i'm gonna put a screenshot of the walmart grocery pickup that you can go and get this there for 96 cents okay so it's a great price to feed your family so if you get the 15 ounce can of tomato sauce it's much cheaper than buying two eight ounce but i just happen to have two eight ounce on hand so we're gonna go with that And then you're gonna get an eight ounce can of chicken broth. I just happen to have an open one of these. It's much cheaper if you're on a tight budget, which this is the point of this recipe, is that you are on pinch and pennies. You can dig this change out of your couch to make this. So you're going to get the, um, there's an eight and a 16 ounce can of broth. But you can get the 16 ounce can, better. Um, if not, then the other one can work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our tomato sauce and we're gonna put it in the pot, we're gonna add our broth, and then we're gonna add four more cups of water. So we're gonna get started with that. So this is our homemade tomato soup. Now if you can't afford broth and all you can get is tomato sauce, it is completely okay to just use water and it'll still be good. It may not have as much protein in it and keep you full as long, but it will still be satisfying and it'll be good to go. So, add those in there. I think you'll do a help me out. And put this in the trash room. I'm gonna come back for this one, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and add your one cup of broth if that's all you can get. And if not, then you know, add as much as you can get on your budget. But for us, we're gonna go off the one dollar recipe. So you're gonna be adding that one cup. So with the broth and the tomato sauce in there, this is what it's gonna look like. And now we're going to add four cups of water. Alright, let's get our water. got our water in there I'm going to show you what it looks like here we are with our water the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab a whisk if you don't have a whisk that's okay you can grab a fork and just kind of incorporate it make sure there's no lumps from the tomato sauce once you've done that you can put your whisk aside and we're going to start it all right the stove is on we're going to bring this to a boil <laughs> once it's come to a boil we're going to add some stevia now this is not stuff that i would say you're going to buy this is stuff you already have hand on hand if you don't use stevia you can use a pinch of sugar and then you got your salt and pepper and at the very end we're going to be adding some almond milk while we're waiting for this to come to a boil we're going to talk about some options that you can go ahead and add in here if you already have them on hand so for me we have some collagen peptides left that we haven't used that I'm going to add to this to give it some more protein and help keep us fuller longer, plus the added benefit, health benefits from this. And then also, if you do have broth on hand, you can just make this with all broth, just like you can make it with all water. The broth gives it a little bit more flavor, but also if you had water, you could add some bouillon if you had it um, to help. And then when we add, so you can use almond milk, heavy cream, half and up, whatever you have, regular milk. And we're just doing a little splash. So use what you have on hand and make it work. Yes. So you just make it work for you. It cooks very quickly. This is a great like fast, boom, 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 I'm done type of lunch. It's already starting to come to a boil. Bubbles yet going, but you can hear it. And this is about typically when I would go ahead and add my stevia in. 
Now this is a packet. I'm only going to add one quarter of this packet in here because it doesn't take much. Now I'm going to add my salt. You can salt and pepper this to taste. I don't really have a recipe to follow for measurements on that. Sorry. And then we're gonna add our pepper. I'm gonna whisk this in. And if you have a bigger family, I have a family of five, so this is enough for us to eat lunch. But if you have a bigger family, you can always add more water to stretch it further or another can of tomato sauce. So once you start seeing those bubbles pop up, you can go ahead and turn the heat off. We're gonna add our one ounce of almond milk. This is unsweetened original, but like I said, you can use whatever milk you have on hand. So we're gonna whisk that in. If you have heavy cream, it'll give it a much lighter, like bisque color. And that is it. Go ahead and ladle it into your bowls and enjoy. If you end up trying this, please let me know. I'd like to know how you like it and if it was a help to you. When we have foods like this, sometimes that aren't the most necessarily exciting meals, I have to remember the verse of, I think it's 1 Thessalonians 5.18. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is still a meal that'll fill our bellies up and we're thankful for it. All right, let's try the soup and tell me what you think. It is hot. I you can see the steam. Good. It is good, huh? It kind of tastes like canned tomato soup. Yeah. Mommy, it's good. Mm -hmm. Just, you know those you cheese know? things will go on bread and then you can cook Grilled cheese? cheese? Yeah, grilled cheese. You like that with us? Yeah. <laughs> The baby's up from her nap. We're done showing how our meal went. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Choose joy today, and we'll see you tomorrow.